towards a little surge area here, so we'll click it on and see if we can get any of that surge money, if it's still there when we enter that little orange cloud there. And it shows you, that dollar amount that it shows you, the $2.25, that fluctuates up and down depending on demand. Um, so the closer you get to that $2.25, once you're in the zone, uh, the more of that $2.25 you'll earn, it'll be added onto your next trip, even if you don't get a trip while you're inside of that orange cloud that you see there. So like when I, as soon as I hit the edge of it here, it's probably gonna say that we're gonna get at least 25 cents or 50 cents added to our next trip. Right now I'm offline, so I'll turn it online once we're, once it's safe or I'm, because I'm also driving here while I hold the camera, so. Let's see if I can turn on here in a second. We'll see what it's going to offer us when we get into the cloud. I got to go through this intersection first. So we're in the cloud now, but I'm not online. Get through this intersection. Okay. Let's see what it tells us we get. It's trying to go online. Now the cloud's gone up to 325. My phone's not getting me online. Come on. Come on, phone. There we go. See, so you see now we get at least $1.25 in addition to whatever we would normally earn on our next trip. Now it doesn't depend, it doesn't matter if I leave this cloud. I could drive 10 miles um, away from this cloud or the cloud could disappear, like if the demand reduces to zero. Um, we're still going to get that guaranteed amount. There. Now we're up to 225, so that's cool. See, the closer you get to the core, um, if I get right underneath where it says 325, I'll get the full 325. So I need to make a left up here somewhere if I can. Once I get an opportunity, once I get to an intersection here where there's Main Street coming up here, if I make a left, maybe we can get into that core. Biggest one I ever had was seven dollars and twenty-five cents. I got right underneath a, a seven dollar and twenty-five cent surge. Let's see what we can do here. Turn left up here, and if we can get closer to it, we're up to two seventy-five now. So that just keeps going up if we keep getting closer to it, and if the demand, if the peak stays high, eventually that'll disappear. That whole orange cloud will disappear once there's enough drivers in that area, and then. Um, and there's a trip, so there you can see it says we're going to get some additional money. Alright, so it was a decent little trip there. It was about 16 miles. We went um, kind of northwest from where we were. And... Um, so including the 275 surge we got, uh, total was $17.59 for that trip. So not bad, pretty good, pretty good little trip right there. Um, right now though, as soon as I see something to eat, I need to get some food, I'm, I'm hungry. Seems like every time I'm making these videos and I turn the camera on, I'm telling you guys about, I'm hungry and I need to get something to eat. Um, it's true though, I'm starving. I had a little tiny bowl of oatmeal for breakfast, went healthy and, um, so right now, yeah, I need to get something to eat. Oh, hi, can I get two of the BRC burritos? And could you add green sauce to both of those? They already come with green sauce. Did you want to add extra green sauce? Yes, please. Okay. And then I have a thing on the app that says I get a free order of donut bites with any purchase. Okay. And then that's going to be all. Okay, so I have an order of donut bites and two of the jacked up nice and cheese burritos with extra green sauce. Yep. Anything to drink today? No, thank you. Okay. Your total is going to come out to be 217 with your 
got to find this coupon now in the app. There it is. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. All right. Here's the app coupon. Okay. Any sauce? Yeah. Can I get some uh, Dos Corchos, please? Okay. It's going to be 217 Oh, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Back. That's fine. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thanks. All right, lunchtime. Let's go uh, find a place to park. Nothing like the BRC burritos from Del Taco. With beans, rice, and cheese. Yummy. Alright, just giving you guys a quick update. Show you where I am. I'm way up here on the far northwest side of town. Just dropped somebody off up here. Area, This area up here called Cliff's Edge. Let's focus, won't work. Um, the strip is way down over here somewhere. I can't. Way down here. Anyway, we're about 30 minutes from the strip. Really nice area up here. I'll try to get some video here in a second to show you guys the area. All right, so like I said, this area up here is called Cliff's Edge, pretty much up here. Um, also, some area uh, called Providence. I think it's the same thing. Um, signs say Providence on them, but uh, it's a real nice uh, neighborhood. It looks like they got brand new, a lot of brand new home development. Uh, some of the big signs say uh, 2,100 to 3,000 square feet, starting from the uh, 300,000 range. So that's a, a pretty good price. Um, neighborhoods, like I said, neighborhoods are nice. It's a very new area. This uh, shopping center over here on the left is brand new. It's got um, Albertsons, Taco Bell, uh, there's a Del Taco not too far down here, Dutch Brothers Coffee, which is popular, brand new shopping center though, this wasn't even here before, and you can see they're still doing a lot of construction, All right, just another nice area I wanted to show you guys real quick. It's called Reverence up here, way up on the west side of town. You can see there's nothing but mountains here to uh, your west, all these homes up here. I'm not sure the pricing on these, but they're probably on the upper side of pricing because uh, the location is really nice. You're just way up here away from everything. It's just Like I said, there's nothing but mountains over here on the, right, on the uh, west side. Uh, nice looking area. This is right off of the 215 in Cheyenne. Far, um, I guess you'd say northwest side of Las Vegas area of the valley. We're up high. So you can see all the way out there is Las Vegas. The Las Vegas that uh, people know from, uh, from their trips here or from TV. There's the... Uh, See the stratosphere out there? Over here behind these trees to the left, that's uh, downtown Vegas over there, Fremont Street and all that. But there is the Las Vegas Strip way out there in the distance. So you, you can see, uh, you can imagine you get some spectacular uh, views from some of the homes up here in this uh, area. Right back there is where we just were. The neighborhoods right behind those that fence right back there. All 
right, we're into another little surge area here. That's good. We got a guaranteed extra buck fifty right now on the next trip. All right, let's see if we can get that to go up. Oh, there it goes. We're at a buck seventy-five. All right. Two twenty-five. There we go. Made a little bit. Went up a little bit. So next trip we get whatever the normal fare is plus two dollars and twenty-five cent bonus. Stuck at another light, of course. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh-oh, looks like the cloud disappeared. Surge cloud disappeared, I think. Let's see if it comes back. Sometimes it disappears and comes back. Ah, it's gone. So you see, like I was saying before, we still get our $2.25 on the next trip, even though um, a busy area has disappeared. Doesn't matter how long it takes. We could sit around for 45 minutes. Hopefully we won't, but if we sat around for 45 minutes and a trip came in, even if I was on the other side of town, I'd still get that $2.25. I get to collect that as long as I don't go offline. As long as I don't click to go offline and stop requesting trips, because then it's not like I can turn the app back on later and get that money. That $2.25 will disappear um, if I turn the app off I only get it, I only get to collect that money uh, once I accept the next trip, so. I'm okay with the cones if there's actual work going on like this. But usually around town there's cones and there's nothing going on. At least in this case, there's some work going on. The, the problem is we're, uh, we're blocked and we got an Uber to pick up. I just got that Uber request with the bonus And uh, I don't think I'm going to get it. All right, we're free. Go pick up our pickup. All right, so I just finished that trip uh, where we had the extra um, the extra surge bonus on it. So it was about twelve bucks. Uh, we went about eight or nine miles, and uh, let's see, it didn't pop up the exact amount. So I'm estimating, but it's going to be right around twelve bucks, including that um, that bonus fee that we got. So that was cool. So back at it, still out here doing a thing. Hey, we just got a $5.21 tip, that's cool. Just uh, dropped a couple ladies off down here at the Mirage. We're on the back side of the Mirage in the Uber lift area. Kind of stuck in the crush here. Well, Saturday afternoon in Las Vegas, pretty much on the strip. This is what you can expect. The 
This guy double stopping here doesn't help us much. Oh, come on. Is this guy going to let somebody out too? I need to get out of here. Come on, let's go. Oh, this guy's killing me. This guy's waiting for his passengers, I think, right here. Maybe this guy's getting in. We can get out of here. If he doesn't run over his rider. Whew. It's brutal down here. This video is going to be 45 minutes long just from this one segment. If we can't get out of here. <laughs> This limo's not gonna let me in, is he? Nobody's gonna let us in here. This guy's letting us in, a nice guy. I'll let this guy in. Oh, this limo gonna stop here? We gotta get out of here, guys. This is crazy. All right, we're out, finally. So that's it guys, that's gonna wrap up Saturday, I think. Um, let me see here. I started at 10 a.m. So there we go. I don't know if the numbers are backwards. I think the numbers are gonna be backwards because we're in selfie mode, but that's uh, $76.34. It's three o'clock right now. So that's five hours. Um, but you know, I was out and about, I was shooting some video, editing some video, so it's not really, um, whatever whatever time that I say when I'm out doing Uber, um, I was probably actually working about half the time. So it's probably, uh, it's probably about three hours worth of where I was actually on duty and uh, driving fares. Maybe less than three hours, probably less than three hours realistically, so. Uh, we did $76. Uh, it's 3 o'clock, though. I'm losing my voice once again. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, it's not too long. I'm going to have to edit the crap out of it to get it to a reasonable length because I think I shot a lot of video today. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Click subscribe. Uh, click the thumbs up if you don't mind. I appreciate that as well. And uh, have an awesome weekend. I'll see you again soon.